This is Tampa Tech, and learn something new from PC, TVs, and gaming too. Let's get it started. All right, this is how to use a Bose V25. And so all this right here is the input for standard video. This right here, you plug in your headphones to calibrate the Bose surround sound. This is the, the power on, power off, the source, mute, volume down, volume up, setup button if you want to set up your, um, your controller to uh, program. This is a universal remote little control, everything. Your uh, Blu-ray player, Xbox, your TV. <clears throat> and also has a USB for uh, if you want to plug in your MP4 player too. Alright, and then all this right back here. So this goes out to the TV. And the TV speakers can work too as well. There's an option. There's a setting for that. So you can use the surround sound and the TV as well. This is, goes out to the cable box, connected to the HD cable box. It's connected to the Blu-ray player. This is connected to the Xbox 360. And that goes to the subwoofer. Those cables right there. The one on the bottom, actually. That's the FM antenna. All right, and there's the dock for the the eye touch or whatever if you have an iPad, iPod. All right, let's get this going and uh, work this. And there's the subwoofer right there. So basically, you would hit the TV power and then the Bose power. And then once the, the green light will turn on, telling you that it's on, and you'll get this on the screen, okay? If you have nothing on the screen, when you hit the more button, it tells you it says cable, no audio, the cable box is obviously turned off. So let's go ahead and turn it on. To turn on the cable box, hit the more button, and then you'll get this on the screen, then hit the OK button. And then that will turn on right there, the light. And then you got TV. All right. Now, let's go ahead and hit the... Um, Source button, switch inputs, and then go down arrow, Blu-ray, hit select, and then hit OK again to turn it on. That's the power for the Blu-ray. And then now the Blu-ray is turning on. It's a universal remote. All right. So now you'd be able, there's your pause, play, forward, and rewind like you normally would have you hit right arrow right arrow right arrow left arrow left arrow alright and then to switch that hit source again and then go down to Xbox hit Xbox so when you hit the more button right here there's the power for the Xbox you can turn it on off by hitting OK so it turns off to Xbox Hit the OK button again. Well, let's hit the More button. Then hit OK. That's the More button. And then when you hit OK, you should turn it on. You just turned it on. So we're good to go there. So everything, this even control your Xbox too, which is kind of cool. And just give it a second. See, right arrow, right arrow. So it's all working pretty good. There's a little slight delay. And to turn that off, you hit the more button and then hit OK. Turns it off. All right, and then hit the source button, go up, back to Blu-ray. And then once you go back to Blu-ray, if you want to turn that off, you hit the more button and then hit OK, turns that off. I'm going to hit source and then hit up arrow to cable, hit OK. And there's your cable box settings. So right here, when you hit the more button, there's your recordings, DVR list recordings. 
live TV, all your other settings for your cable box on top. So, and here's the stretch out the picture. That's the stretch out the picture right here. When you hit that button, it gives you different options to stretch it out. All right, info button, all that good stuff. Um, when you hit the more button again, and go to the right arrow, right arrow. Let's go over to the right. More. Right out, right arrow. You want to go all the way to the options to the right and hit OK. Select that. These are the Bose options. All right, go down, go down. These are all different options for the Bose. Rear speakers. Volume on for the TV. You can set that to on so you can lower the Bose volume and raise the volume for your TV. TV speakers on 1080p. So once you activate the TV speakers on, I'll show you how that works. Hit exit to get out of that. So lower the volume on your Bose. And when you lower the volume on your Bose, the TV speakers are still working. So now, with you can lower the TV, just lower the TV sound, and do the Bose, and raise the volume on the Bose. Gosh! Don't need a new phone? No, you do. All the best phones with unlimited data and messaging, just thirty-five bucks a month. Virgin Mobile, a higher calling. So that all works pretty good. And it tells you right here on the screen. Also, FM, it tells you on the FM. If you go down, down, down to FM, hit select. It tells you what station you're on, which is kind of cool. And then, you change the stations is, uh, I think this, yeah. All right, and then get out of that, hit source, back to cable, hit select, and then to turn everything off, you would hit more button, and when you hit the more button, hit power, turn that off, turn off the TV, then turn off the Bose, and then now turn from green to red or something, amber. All right. And uh, I recommend to calibrate it. And again, to calibrate it, make sure you hit the, um, plug it into the headphones. And then you can hit the setup button. And it's called, uh, this is the calibration kit right here. Okay, and that's the headset microphone basically. And those are the back speakers. There, and then there. So it's very easy to use, universal remote. Very handy. I personally can't afford it. I set it up for a customer, but it's definitely uh, very nice. Thanks for watching.